climate in Scotland has already changed over the past 30 years and research by James Hutton Institute colleagues has shown that um, rainfall in particular, although it has increased on average across the country, these increases were mostly in the western parts of Scotland and in the winter, whereas eastern parts of Scotland have have experienced reduced rainfall, particularly in the early spring and summer months and towards the end of the summer and in early autumn, in August and September. And in fact, the decreases in rainfall levels in September could be seen across Scotland. So climate has already changed and will continue to change. This has also been shown um, in a recent uh, report by um, Nature Scott in 2021 where they anticipated that um, meteorological droughts, that is periods of reduced rainfall for prolonged periods, will become much more common in Scotland and we can expect them to occur even one in three years. So water scarcity is already with us, it's happening and it will probably get more severe going forward. And therefore the present research has been commissioned by the Centre of Research Expertise in Waters and was led by James Hutton Institute, but in collaboration with colleagues from the British Geological Survey, the Scottish Rural College, and the Un University of Aberdeen. We looked at three aspects of uh, the water cycle. We looked at precipitation, so rainfall, and also the relationship between rainfall and evapotranspiration, so how much water is evaporated from the surface of vegetation, from the soils. Um, so we looked at the what we call this meteorological drought and then we looked at the surface water availability and also at groundwater availability. So in terms of um, meteorological drought, we, uh, the colleagues from James Hutton Institute uh, used climatic projections to look at future climatic water balance, so the ratio between precipitation and evapotranspiration. We found that this has already changed across Scotland and will continue to change. And we'll see negative water balance, which indicates water scarcity and particularly reduced soil moisture, which is important for farmers uh, in eastern parts of Scotland. So eastern and central parts of Scotland will see increased water deficits um, and reduced soil water, soil moisture in eastern and central parts of Scotland, particularly in early spring and in late summer, in August and September. And these may affect then crop germination and also um, uh, grain production um, at these critical times of the year. So western parts of Scotland will be less affected. Um, then in terms of availability of surface water for abstractions, we looked at the duration and frequency of surface water droughts. So that's uh, situations when river flows are below normal levels or at very low levels for prolonged periods. And we find that the both duration and frequency of these hydrological drought events will almost double by the middle of this century. So we can expect in some river basins to see a drought event that relates to river flows or stream flows almost every year or every two or three years. So it depends, it varies spatially within a country and there is uncertainty associated with this depending on which climate models we use, which hydrological models we use. But certainly we can see a doubling of the frequency and duration of hydrological drought events. Uh, so availability of water for abstraction from surface waters by the middle of this century. And then in terms of groundwater resources, our colleagues from the British Geological Survey developed a new groundwater security framework where they looked at groundwater, potential groundwater recharge. So that's the rainfall that is available to recharge the aquifers and also the ability of the aquifers to store water. So they related potential recharge to groundwater storage and looked across Scotland where we may have areas that are most resilient in future and that may provide alternative resources to abstractors to abstract water from these groundwater reservoirs. So areas where we have high potential recharge and high storage ability will be most resilient. 
the areas where we have reduced storage of groundwater, and that's particularly in West and Northwest Scotland, or areas where we have reduced recharge, so reduced rainfall in eastern and central parts of Scotland, they'll be less resilient going forward. But what we don't have enough information on really is how this translates to a local level. So we recommend more monitoring and more analysis to understand where groundwater really can provide an alternative to abstractors during water scarcity periods. Mm -hmm.